Okay, so here we have a homework help problem that says to create an equation or definition for the graph. So this graph has two pieces. We'll start by looking from the left hand side of the graph to the right. So from the left hand side we can start with this line that follows down through the point negative 1, 1 all the way to 0, 0. And it stops here with a closed dot. So in order to figure out the equation for this graph, this is a line. So we'll use the form y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, which is the point slope form of a line. If we look at a point on our graph, we have this point of negative 1 comma 1. So that would be, we can call that our x1 and y1. Can't really see that super well, so let me change colors. We'll make this graph as this purplish color. Negative 1 comma 1 is x1 comma y1. Okay. So we have our x1 and our y1. What we need now is our slope. And the formula for slope is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in order to plug in a x2 and a y2, we need to identify another point on the graph. This point, 0, 0, is another point that's been identified for us. So let's call that x2 and y2. Plugging that into our formula, we get y2 is 0 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is 0 minus x1 is negative 1. So that makes 0 minus 1 is negative 1 over 0 minus a negative is plus, so that would be 0 plus 1, which is 1. That gives us our slope is negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. Plugging that into our point slope formula, we get, we leave x is x and y is y. So we get y minus y1 is equal to 1 is equal to m, which is negative 1, times x minus x1 is negative 1. So that gives us y minus y1 is equal to negative 1 distributed to x makes a negative x and then minus a negative again makes a plus, but distributing the negative one in gives us a minus one. And solving for y, we add one on both sides, and we get y is equal to, whoops, that was supposed to be a one. y is equal to negative x, the negative one and the plus one cancel out. So this is our if we make our function, define our function over here, f of x is equal to, we'll do a little curly bracket, and the first part is y is equal to negative x, so we'll call this negative x for the first part, and it goes, we have an arrow that points all the way to the left, and it goes until it stops at 0, 0. So that would be where x is less than or equal to 0, because if you start at zero and you go all the way to the left. From here, let's find the other portion of the graph. I will use a different color. Let me use, um, I want to use a darkish color. So let me just use a blue. So we have an open circle here and then we have a line that goes through the point one one and it stops at two zero. So using again, we have another line. Um, using again our point slope formula, we can get one point on the graph is one comma one. We can call this our x1 and our y1. And then we have another point on our graph to help us find our slope is two comma zero. We can call this our x2 and our y2. So plugging that into our point slope formula, um, first First, finding our slope formula, which is our m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
gives us y2 is 0 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is 2 minus x2, sorry, minus x1 is 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get again negative 1 over 1 is again a slope of negative 1, which makes sense because these lines appear to be parallel. So the slopes are equal for parallel lines. From here, we can plug into our point slope formula, which is y minus y1 is equal to 1 is equal to m sorry our m is equal to negative 1 so let's plug that in as negative 1 times x minus x1 is 1 so distributing we get y minus y1 is equal to negative x and then negative 1 distributed to negative 1 two negatives makes a positive so we get so we add 1 on both sides, and we get y is equal to negative x. 1 plus 1 is plus 2. So our next piece of our graph is negative x plus 2. And looking at our, our graph, we have an open circle at 0. So we want to say that x is less than but not equal to 0. Um, sorry, x is greater than 0, but I'm writing, reading it in this direction because I'm making a combined um, interval. And it goes up to where x is equal to 2. So x is greater than 0, but less than 2. You can read that as x is greater than 0 and also less than 2. I'm just writing it in a combined format which is how you would write the piecewise function. And this would be your final answer. Oh, but one more thing is because we have a closed dot at x is equal to 2, um, we would need to put equal to 2. So we have an open circle when x is equal to 0, but a closed circle when x is equal to 2. So it would be from 0, but not equal to 0, up until 2, and also equal to 2. So I hope this homework help question was helpful for you, this step-by-step -step solution. Feel free to leave a question in the comments if you have any questions.